Welcome back to demonstration of configuring Exchange Server Mailbox Databases and Storage. In this, we will create three iSCSI for Exchange Database and Logs. We will move DB02 and its logs to iSCSI Storage. We will rename the default database to DB01. We will move DB01 and log to iSCSI Storage. And also, we will change the default limits of database DB01. So let's move to our server and start the demonstration. So right now we are on exchange server that is EX01. Let me show you the exchange admin center and let's navigate to servers. Here we have a two database DB02 and mailbox database with number. If we go to the properties of DB02, we have four things here like general maintenance limits and client settings if we go to the general we can see the general things like name of the database path of the database when was the full backup created and it's mounted or not on which server it is mounted and who is the master server for this database and the server hosting a copy of this database if there are multiple servers. and inside the maintenance general recipient we can configure the general recipient here and enable background database maintenance that is by default check if you don't want database to mount at startup you can select this option database can be overwritten by restore or enable circular logging inside limit you can restrict user like you can issue a warning at 1.9 GB prohibit the send at 2 GB you can set it as unlimited as well whatever you want you can prohibit the send and receive at your choice keep the deleted items for 14 20 or any of your choice if you want to keep deleted mailbox more than 30 days you can configure it from here and there are few more customization you can do inside the limit and in the client setting we have only one thing that is offline address book if we see the my computer inside we have only one drive and inside the C drive we have our database in a default location that is program files Microsoft exchange server v15 inside mailbox and you can see DB02 and mailbox database with number so this is inside a default location let me go back and we don't have any of the drives created right now so we will configure our iSCSI for our exchange server so in order to configure that we have to create the iSCSI so we will go to our root DC let me connect it remotely so now we are connected to our DC01 that is root domain and we will use this server as a storage for our exchange server if I show you the volume D let me eject this first we have a 365 GB free inside D and we will use it as a storage so in order to create the storage we have to install the role add role and feature let's click on next and it's a role based or feature based installation let's click on next and I'll select the DC01 that is 2.7 and proceed and here you can see the file and storage service 2 of 12 and if I see this iSCSI target server we have to install this so that we can create a iSCSI for our exchange server let me click on next and you can see the file and SCSI services iSCSI target server click on install so this has been installed so after installing this feature you can just click on new iSCSI virtual disk let me create the disk now and I'll choose the D drive that is 365 GB free and let's click on next and I'll name it as a iSCSI disk 1 and I will use it for storing my database so let me put for database and let's click on next and here you can give a fixed size here from here you can see the GB or TB whatever you want you can choose according to your requirement right now for the demonstration I am using 8 GB click on next and now we have to add a iSCSI target server so target server would be our exchange server that is EX01 and let me add that and from here we can browse it so let me browse it via active directory find now 
here we have exchange server that is ex01 let me click on ok let's proceed with ok here we can see the IQ and name that is a unique identifier name for this iSCSI let me click on next again we will click on next and now you can see the details and you can click on create so it's creating a virtual disk if you have any another storage option you can do that as well you can create disk from there as well let me create a new one again from the D drive click on next and now th the name would be iSCSI disk 2 we'll click on next I'll choose the again same 8 GB and click on next now the target server is automatically appeared there ex01 that is fine so we will click on next and we'll create the disk so two disk has been created let me also create for logs because these two I will use for database db01 and db02 and the third one will be for logs so again we will choose the dc01 the d drive and we'll click on next now the name will be iSCSI disk 3 and for log purpose so let's hit next and I'll give it a fixed size with the again 8 GB click on next we have a target server ex01 click on next and create so now all the three disk has been created and the size is 8 GB it's initializing so let's move to our exchange server now so now we are on our exchange server and you can see we don't have any drive right now connected with exchange so let's go to the tools and iSCSI initiator and let me click on yes it will start the service automatically and target server is 192.168.2.7 that is our DC quick connect we have the IQN connected login succeeded done and you can also see inside the favorite target it is there and it uses the port number 3260 so we are connected with iSCSI's and let's go to the file and storage and let's go to the disk and here we have all these three disks we have created you can see iSCSI virtual hard drive let me bring it online let's create a new simple volume click on next disk 1 is there that is fine click on next I will click on OK the GPT disk that is fine let's click on OK OK the size is 7.97 GB the drive letter is E the file system is NTFS and REFS available we will go with the NTFS and let me rename the volume name as well so I will give it as a name as a DB01 let's create it let me close it so by this way we have to make all the disk online you can see the db01 is now present inside the exchange server so we still have two drive left so let me make a simple volume for those as well and before that we have to bring that online let me create a new volume for the second drive as well so new volume next I will choose a disk 2 click on next ok the GPT disk fine again the same volume size click on next it will give it as a drive letter F and let me click on next and create the volume it is created and now the third one is remaining so let me do it with the third one as well new volume next 8 GB next ok volume size G drive next let me give it a name as a logs click on next and create the volume so now all the three volumes are created you can see they are 8 GB in size so let's see it inside the computer they are present or not so you can see DB01 E F drive and G drive let me rename this F volume that is new volume I will make it as a DB02 so I'll put the database inside DB01 and DB02 we will create we have a two database and we will rename the default database to DB01 and inside the DB02 let me create a folder by the name of DB02 
and inside the db0 one drive we will create a new folder by the name of db0 one inside these we will keep our database two different drive two different database and inside our log folder i will create a folder by the name of logs and db01 and let me also create db02 folder and we will put log here so now we have configured the naming system for our exchange and if we see the db02 path though we have seen it but let me cross check it we have our default database inside the c program files so we have to move this path to these drives so let's open our exchange management shell because from admin center we cannot move our database we have to use exchange management shell only so if we check get mailbox database fl name edb file path and log folder path it will show you the database name and the path of the database where the files are stored let me hit enter so you can see we have a two database db01 and the edb file is inside program files log folder are also inside program files so both the database are inside the c program files which is a default one and which we want to change let's move it by running the command like move database db02 edb file path we want to put it inside f drive so f drive db01 folder and the file name will be db02.edb file dot edb is the extension for the exchange database and the log folder path would be inside g drive and we have a log folder inside it and the db02 folder so let's try to move it you can see the validating the destination file path and it's asking are you sure you want to perform this action yes we are sure moving checking the status it's saying like db02 must be temporarily dismounted which will make it inaccessible to all users do you want to continue yes we want to continue because we want to move the database it's dismounting database db02 it will dismount it and later on it will remount it copying log files if we see at the background db02 is dismounted and once the process is complete it will restore the database and will it will remount it so let's wait till the process is completed it's restoring the database status so it's completed now and let's refresh it now you can see the db02 is mounted and if you see the properties of db02 earlier it was inside the c drive now you can see the database path is inside f db02 db02.edb that's what we wanted and if we check inside our ice kazis you can just open it and see the db02 here it is a main repository for the database file that is db02 and inside the log we have a db02 folder and this is we have a log inside by this way you can organize your data so that it is easy to remember like where the log files for which database are located so let's go to our exchange management shell once again and see this command once again like get mailbox now we can see the db02 the edb file path and log folder path has been moved and the name of our default database is mailbox database the number let me rename this to rename it you can run this command set mailbox database the name of the mailbox database and the new name the new name will be db01 so let's hit enter the command succeeded let's run the command once again to confirm the name has been okay now the name has been changed but the db01 is already inside c program still it is inside the c drive so we will have to move it so let's try to run that command once again that is move database path now it is db01 and edb file would be inside the this drive e drive e drive db01 we have a folder inside and the file name is db01.edb and the log folder path would be inside g drive logs inside db01 folder so again the same process will run yes we want to continue again yes it will dismount and remount it again 
let me refresh it you can see the name is now db01 and the status is dismounted let me refresh it now both the database are mounted and our default database is renamed if we see it again you can see the path is changed now and inside our drives if I refresh it once again you can see we have something inside our e drive that is db01 db01.edb is our main database and inside our logs folder db01 we have logs for our db01 database if we go to the properties of db01 and see the limit so let's try to change the warning and prohibit send and send and receive instead of 1.9 I'll do it 1.5 and it will issue a warning at 1.5 and it will prohibit the send at 1.8 GB and send and receive will stop once the database size reached 2 GB and I'll keep the deleted item for 20 days and other thing is by default I'll click on save so by completing this task our module 2 is completed so let's meet in our module 3